Hello everyone, this is Coach Carol. Welcome back to the 10 steps in building AI skills in genealogy. I'm Coach Carol and we're now at the end of the 10 steps, but it's not the end of your journey into this fascinating branch of your genealogy workflow. In fact, it's just the beginning. Welcome to step 10. Let's consolidate what you've learned in the first nine steps. So we're trying to build now your AI enhanced genealogy future. And that requires looking back over what you've learned so far. What is your level of confidence now with AI compared with about 10 days ago or whenever you started these 10 steps? I suggest you set yourself up for success now by building a personal AI genealogy hub. You'll want to identify how you want to incorporate AI into your genealogy workflow. I also suggest and strongly recommend some of the AI and genealogy communities that are abounding in social media where you can explore the work of other AI skilled genealogists. I definitely subscribe to further learning, advance your skills with a full course. Why not join Mastering AI Skills in Genealogy 2.0, your 2025 roadmap. Where are you now? Compare your comfort level with the start of your journey way back at step one to now. Would you say you, you are a beginner, intermediate, advanced? Or have you progressed from being scared, at ease, to being confident? Identify your most successful AI interactions so far. Did you keep a copy? of those brilliant prompts in your library. What are your AI goals in genealogy for 2025? What do you want to learn more about? What were some of the biggest challenges in learning how to use AI for genealogy so far? Take some time to list all your genealogy goals for 2025. Use an AI tool to help you with that. Now it's time to create your personal AI hub or what some might call an AI genealogy command center. There are several ways you can do that, but within it, you'll want somewhere to organize your AI tools and resources so that they are easy to access and prompt you whenever you come to your computer. You'll want to include a prompt template library for easy access to all those successful prompts that you've used and even some of those that you learned from. These are often the best learning tools. I suggest you have a clear AI enhanced research plan in mind each time you do or begin a genealogy project. I usually do mine once a month so that I have a new focus, new ancestors to track and new ways to use AI to help build their stories. So create your own research workflow system. But do remember to keep doing some fact checking whenever you use your AI tools to verify the accuracy of their responses. Your workflow integration now will help you make AI part of your process. As you begin this process, it will help if you map out your current workflow, both for research and storytelling. Jot down what you normally do in your research hours. You might be surprised at what you'll find out. Then identify points in that workflow where AI could be integrated. 
where there's some brick walls. They ne nearly Norway always are. Do you want to save time? Do you want to automate some frequent tasks? Just have a look at your current workflow and work out where AI can be helpful. Then create and practice your personal operating procedures. You've heard about standard operating procedures, SOPs. Now we're talking about the POPs, where you can develop your AI habits. They say it takes about three weeks to set up good habits. Join online communities who are focused on AI and genealogy. There are several of those now in places like Facebook and Substack. I recommend, of course, Ancestry in the Age of AI, which is a community in Facebook. And this is a private community for those of you who have joined the 10 steps or have participated in a course in the Essential Genealogy 2.0 Academy. Social learning opportunities abound from colleagues and like-minded genealogists when you participate in such social media, media communities. Another one that is very successful now with several thousand members is the genealogy and AI community in Facebook. Genealogy and artificial intelligence, to be exact. You can search for that and find it easily if you're a Facebook user. For those of you who are on Substack, I have my own Next Gen Genealogy community over there, and you can join that and participate in receiving newsletters or just looking at my posts every now and then. There's also a growing community of genealogists over in Blue Sky, still relatively new to me, but a good one to check out. Next, I believe it's important for you to continually develop your new skills with a skill development plan, just like you might have done with any of the new skills you've used for genealogy, whether it was learning how to use ancestry or family search. The skill development plan can become your learning roadmap. I suggest you set monthly skill development goals and schedule regular practice sessions. Track your progress and celebrate your wins. So for example, learning a new AI tool or learning and practicing a new feature or function in one of your existing AI tools. I know I need to set time aside for that when using ChatGPT and Claude and Perplexity as there's always something new on the horizon. So build in time in your busy schedule for regular practice sessions. You could use a calendar system, like a Google Calendar, reminders for you, or you could set up a chat GPT task to remind you of this. Do track your progress and celebrate your wins. It really does work well if you share your progress and small or large wins with your community participants. And do make sure that you check in with theirs because you'll learn from each other. So the next step, set aside some time now in your schedule for self-paced learning or tutor-led courses. I suggest two or three times a year, so maybe two courses. And the one that I have ready for you is coming up in January 2025. Keep learning. Take your skills further. Subscribe to newsletters. This way you'll keep up to date with AI developments. There's a great newsletter you can subscribe to called There's an AI for That. It's referenced there as T-A-A-F-T. 
Take time to develop custom AI tools, such as your GPTs over in ChatGPT. Create your own specialized workflows, processes that fit with your level of research and storytelling and master complex research scenarios. If you'd like a newsletter from Substack, Substack please join the next gen genealogy substack.com. I'll put links to these at the bottom of the video. So here's the information for your next course. I do hope you can join us for Mastering AI in Genealogy 2.0, your 2025 roadmap. The first of these is scheduled to start on January 25. However, I'm going to open it up for enrolment on January 20, just so that you can get ready for that first scheduled webinar that takes place on Saturday, 25th of January. So take note of the Tiny Earl address on the slide. It's an easy one to remember. tinyearl.com forward slash AI 2025 roadmap. The course will give you comprehensive training, step-by-step -step guidance, community support and expert feedback. And it comes with its own set of AI challenges and a capstone project to keep your learning on track. The Zoom sessions are now being scheduled for times to suit a widespread of time zones. They'll be on the Saturdays beginning January 25 and then each week during February, February 1, 8, 16 and 22. I do hope you can join us. So your next steps. Remember, you're on a journey and you now have a passport. Your skill levels have improved, your organization processes have evolved, and you're ready to contribute to AI and genealogy communities. And I believe you are ready for your 2025 roadmap course. So define your current AI skill Create your personal AI genealogy hub, join the communities and register for the full course. There's a code there that'll get you 25% discount and that is AI 2025. I'll put the link directly to the course below the video. Do connect and continue to stay connected via the Facebook group for interaction with others who've completed the 10 steps and have ventured further into the courses at the Essential Genealogy 2.0 Academy. When you're in your Facebook group, Ancestry in the Age of AI, you'll find weekly tips, links to newsletters and notifications of upcoming events in that community. Keep up to date by subscribing to my website. There's a very long link there, but I'll add it below the video for you. But you might also want to book a strategy session with me. And if you go to that page, you'll find a link to doing that. Thank you so much for participating in the 10 steps in building AI skills in genealogy. I really hope that you've gained knowledge, confidence and skills in your AI journey. I look forward to meeting you in the course starting January 25. Mastering AI skills in genealogy 2.0, your 2025 roadmap. Thank you for listening. Good luck.